Awo, shalom, shalom ras tefari, ne, ras yadinos tefari, ne. Greetings, this is Wyndham Yadam. My brothers and sisters, um, I'd like to apologize to you all that we wasn't able because of um, a recent um, medical uh, emergency as well as some related um, matters, um, circumstances um, beyond our our control and ability. We were not able to upload the most recent um, sabbatical reading and feeding, a very important sabbatical reading and feeding at that. And we hope that those of our brothers and sisters and the disciples, mainly the Dekamas Amorit, the brothers and sisters studying with us um, universally, whether in America, whether locally, nationally, or even the international brothers and sisters, hopefully ones know to remember the, the Shabbat and to keep it set apart by the uh, Torah portion readings and feedings and like we said once again we apologize about not uh, being able to come to you sooner and to continue the teachings and the ministering on these very important issues um, and this week's uh, Shabbatical reading and feeding Bamarinya Yesaram Idme which in the Hebrew is known as um, Chaye Sara, Chaye Sara, and that's concerning the the life and the age of um, of our matriarch, uh, Sarah or Sarah, the wife of Abraham. Now, this message that we want to first of all, we just wanted to just greet ones and to let ones know that all thanks be to the. King of Kings, the God and Father of our Black Lord and Savior, Yehoshua HaMoshiach, Geta Chin Jesus Christos, that I and I is, is alive and well. Um, but let's speak on health for a moment, and this is, this is what's so very important. I was wondering how we would bring up this very important issue of health. And, and one of the prerequisite needs for us is health and even the whole foundation of Rastafari, whether we speak about Aital food, um, whether we speak about no debtors or even on the herbal and the herbalistic level, the holistic, the ilistic level, it all comes down to health. And, and, and the teachings even of his majesty and this is sound doctrine if you look up in your Bibles and you look up in the New Testament concept or the New Testament construct or some might not like the con words but mature mature and grow understand what we mean by these words if we look up in the in, in the in the biblical sense of sound doctrine. There's a very interesting thing we'll find out about sound doctrine. That sound doctrine actually means healthy teaching. So every place that you find within the King James Bible where it speaks about sound doctrine, especially in the Hadith Kidan, the New Testament, it is speaking about healthy teaching. Healthy teaching. Make a note of that, brothers and sisters. And so this particular, <clears throat> this particular uh, leading into the Shabbat and for the last couple of days, because of medical emergencies and and even our own health, we had needed an opportunity to to rest and to meditate, and we give thanks for the prayers of of, of our brothers and sisters and mothers for us in, in the ministry of His Majesty in the line of Jesus society because there's also spiritual warfare and in this time of spiritual warfare 
we must also recognize that they're doing everything in their power to stop the ministering of the good news. And therefore, health is once again a very important... Of, 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 let's give you the teaching of His Majesty on this. This is from this same little booklet right here, The Wise Mind of Emperor Haile Selassie. And under development, under the subject matter of development, it says here, if health fails, if health fails, teaching, knowledge, life itself, all comes to naught. So if health, bamarinya, we call health, teina, 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 as we say in the traditional Ethiopian greeting of teina yisterling, teina yisterling, teina yisterling, teina yisterling, teina health yisterling. May he give, may he give health to the eye, or may health be given for I, to I, on my behalf. May Yahweh Baruchu, may Egezi Avi Her Lotus of Hat, may he give health on my behalf, to I, and on my behalf, for I and I may health be given. This is this is the true interpretation of Shalom. So if you study the Hebrew, the biblical Hebrew, and you get to the roots, you get to the very foundation, shalom refers to health. And so the Bible teaches sound doctrine. If you go and translate that word from the King James and look up every place in the concordance where sound doctrine is found, those two words in conjunction with each other, sound doctrine, you will find that the overstanding of sound doctrine is healthy teaching. And so when we as Rastafari in the in the revelation of Rastafari, there's a focus on health. You understand? On on health. Health in spirit, health in, in, in soul and psyche, and health in our body or our physical healthiness. Now, the teaching of his majesty, the teaching of Kedamawi Hala Selassie teaches us this. The teaching of his imperial majesty, our Godfather and King of Kings. He says that if health fails, teaching, knowledge, life itself all comes to naught. So you must really seriously think about health. And one of the reasons why, personally, and, and I'm just going to testify right here for a moment. Personally, we were very disappointed and discouraged with what some individuals were bringing to the Ethiopian World Federation. And this is not on a personal level, but from our personal witness and our personal involvement, what we witnessed, what we observed. There wasn't that focus on really building the organization on this true foundation. And the first foundation, first of all, is our divine heritage, firstly and foremostly. Then building from there is the dissemination, you understand, know of our ancient Ethiopian culture. Because this is the half of the story that hasn't been told to us. And we understand well, who we are, how we got into this present situation will recognize it's a 400 plus year saga and story. But one thing about the Ethiopian World Federation and if I have a constitution booklet on me right here uh, hold on hallelujah we do have a this is a constitution booklet as soon as we can get these in circulation again because many of the brothers and sisters have been asking about the Federation, the Ethiopian World Federation. And the Ethiopian World Federation, there's something very important here. I think this has to become a focus of I and I. 
And this, this is a call to all of the brothers and the sisters and the mothers who are in the medical profession, who are in the medical studies or in any department of, of medicine. And, and even if our brothers and sisters are not in so-called human medicine, but even in veterinarian medicine, animal medicine, they're veterinarians, you still are in the health profession. And this is a call to all of our brothers and sisters. You understand? True Rastafari, which is to say, true born again Christian brothers and sisters. This is a call. This is this is a, a special call to service, a call to arms. We need our health professionals to step forward, especially in a time like this, if we overstand the big picture. Now, here's what the Ethiopian World Federation Constitution and Bylaws, which was established August 25th, 1937, says. When it speaks to the particular units of the, of the Federation in Article 9, it says that a, a unit is a group within a local which is required to perform certain specialized, certain specialized tasks or specialized duties or tasks. The personnel of all units appointed by the president shall be subject to the approval of the executive committee. Now, we're not going to go through much right here in, in explaining the structure of government or the outline of government right now concerning the Federation, although it's a very, very important subject matter to be discussed, but this is still under under the topic matter of health and the importance of health based on the teaching of his imperial majesty, which says to us that if health, if taina, if by extension shalom fails, teaching, knowledge, life itself all comes to naught. You see in the in the Hebrew when we say ma ma shlomek, Ma shlom cha. We're saying, how is your peace? How is your health? In other words, how are you doing? So with overstand that the greeting of shalom is not just some abstraction of peace, peace, but it's a true tripartite peace in our spirit, our souls, and in our bodies. This is why when we as Rastafari speak about based on the ancient Hebraic code, the Levitical code, there was a, a code for God's people of what foods were clean and what foods were unclean because we were to be a holy people, a kedus, hizb, a yetekedasa, hizb, a set apart, a holy people. So certain things we couldn't deal with certain type of foods we couldn't deal with certain type of thoughts we couldn't deal with certain type of teaching we couldn't deal with now make I now understand the significance of this because it's a very important message especially in this particular time you see Babylon is seeking to attack our health our spiritual health our psychological health and our physical health So here in the the first unit that's mentioned in Article 9 of the Ethiopian World Federation Constitution and Bylaws is medical unit. Let me just share a little bit of what it is for the medical unit. There's, there's four units that are listed here. Now, this doesn't include the, the executive committee. The executive committee would be like the organizing body of the 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 local the local of the federation to say almost like let's look at the local in its true aspect based on our divine heritage the local is a church the local is a church this is a holy institution 
And this is one of the reasons why the Ethiopian World Federation today, in this present generation, is going through such a, a birth pain. And, 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 and why they're, we're witnessing a lot of what we're witnessing today. Because there's a foundation, there's only one way in which it is supposed to work, and that's according to the teaching of His Imperial Majesty, in word and in practice, in, in heart and in mind. Overstand this. Here, the first unit that's mentioned here is the medical unit. It says, the medical unit shall constitute persons who are members of the medical, dental, pharmaceutical, and nursing profession. See, this gives us a perfect outline right here. This gives us a perfect structure right here. And at this present time in the ministry of His Majesty and the Lange Society, we are seeking to adopt this, this, this template to recognize the need of a medical unit even within the society of his imperial majesty, especially now, seeing that there's many brothers and sisters in various different ways, not to disclose personal matters in this public discussion right here, but the medical unit must constitute persons who are members of the medical, dental, pharmaceutical, and nursing profession. This is the fourfold of the medical of the dental, of the pharmaceutical, and of the nursing professions. The first unit, there's four units. These four units outside of the main executive committee are the medical, musical, juvenile, and women's auxiliary, or what we may call, for lack of a better descriptor, but the sisterhood. You understand? Or the line of Judah, we could say sorority, as the brotherhood is a fraternity. Let's be mature about these things. There's a reason why the world and those who are our enemies for the sake of the King of Kings and his Christ in their orders are successful and why we are unsuccessful. Word to the wise, food for thought, brothers and sisters. So here it goes on to say that it shall be their duty to give instructions, lectures, general information on health and other topics affecting the well-being of the membership. They shall give to any group desiring training, instruction and in first aid, hygiene and preventative medicine, preventative medicine, the local failing to include any of the above named professional persons in its membership shall form a medical unit among the lay members. This unit shall invite such members of the above named professions as are available to conduct classes and give instruction in the subjects aforementioned. And what are these aforementioned subjects? Medical, right? Dental, pharmaceutical, and nursing. Let's understand this fourfold foundation of a healthy society. Because the teaching of his majesty teaches us that if health fails, then teaching, knowledge, and life itself comes to nothingness. And with the recent medical emergency that has been faced in, in, in amongst us in the society, it, it just further drives home a point that we thought we could hold off on for a moment and say, okay, we're going to get to that. But th this, is, this is very, very urgent. This is extremely urgent, my brothers and sisters, building up the medical unit 
and the medical arm of this Rastafari Ethiopian Hebrew society. It's very important. So what we are doing here is beginning to discuss this idea, to disseminate this idea, to, to, to put forward this idea, to make a heartfelt appeal to you brothers and sisters, you mothers out there who have such training, whether, you, whether you're in the medical profession, whether you're in the dental profession, whether you're in the pharmaceutical profession, or whether you are in the nursing profession, the Lion of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty needs you. We, we need you. The King of Kings needs you. The King of Kings people, this Rastafari society, it needs you to become involved with us. Let's work together. Let's network how we can fulfill the will of his imperial majesty. And here's, here's one other interesting point to this as well. And hopefully we'll move on on some other related subject matters and come back to build a little bit more on this, y'all willing. That there are four basic units that are mentioned here under, under units. One, as we've been talking on, is the medical unit. Secondly is the musical unit. Thirdly is the juvenile or the youth, for the youth, a unit for the youth. Fourthly is the woman's auxiliary. Let's understand that we as a Rastafari, and I love music, and as a musical people, much of the message is conveyed and preserved and disseminated musically. But according to the King of Kings template, the musical unit is secondary after the medical unit because the teaching of his majesty teaches us that if health fails, what else fails? Teaching, knowledge, life itself, all that comes to naught comes to nothingness. So as we've been speaking on the spiritual health and the psychological health of our people, it's now time for us to focus equal emphasis on the physical, medical health of our people. And we're putting out this urgent appeal and this urgent call to our brothers and sisters in Aras Tefari. And once again, this is the so-called Thanksgiving um, weekend. Some some ones might be doing different things, and I and I not judge you, you understand. But help to circulate and pass on this message. The line of Jewish society of His Majesty is seeking to build a medical unit. You understand? So we're calling on those professionals who are in the medical profession, those who within the dental profession, whether they be Rastafari, whether they be Ethiopian, Ethiopian, Hebrew, you understand, or true Christian, true Christian brothers or sisters that recognize the true gospel good news of the King of Kings and his Christ. Please lend your assistance. Please get in touch with us. Please contact us and say, we've, we've heard, I've heard the message about the medical, I'm, I want to assist in the medical unit or the medical group or the medical wing of the society. This is both urgent for us where we're at right here as well as for where we are going. In fact, any, any army today, professional military that sends out its, its, its fighting men and women also have medical professionals that goes along with those fighting men and women. Just some food for thought and something to make a further a further note about. So in closing this particular reasonment right here, let us um just remind ones of the teaching of his majesty on a related point and there's this related point